my black coat. I'm old, and this is my pitch for the carnival final major project. I am doing about peeking behind the curtain of what everyone thinks the carnival actually was. Uh, the definition of carnival comes from the Latin words carnal for flesh and libere, which means put away. Uh, carnival is usually happened the week before Lent in Roman Catholic districts or ca communities or whatever you call them. Uh, Lent is when people fast for 40 days and 40 nights due to Jesus fasting for 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. Uh, my strengths for this will be I'm a thorough researcher, yet my biggest strength for this one is that I am disabled. I know that sounds funny to say that's a strength, but since I'm going into the stories of disabled people and how they face discrimination and taking advantage of, I am in a special point of view where I can actually put my own uh, experiences in there and relate it to. My weaknesses are hypermobility and post-production such as head. Uh, due to my hands, which is one of my disabilities, I can't write that much, which hurts a lot. But I've kind of got a way around that. I've been going out more with the cameras and getting more of the community to actually do my work for me rather than me doing it. And stuff like vlogging instead of writing a production journal. My opportunities, uh, I have a chance to do a better edit than I've done before by allocating more time for editing. Uh, I have the opportunity to do this as I can sort myself more time for editing. I mean, threats might be people who participate in my segments, might act improperly, <coughs> Lewis. So I need to have more segments planned just in case. Another threat is Premier Pro. The software isn't the most reliable, but it's the best I've got to work with. If it crashes frequently, I will use a different one and bring my external uh, storage device, which is one terabyte, so I can have the files on that. Yeah, good. And just keep saving different versions as well, just in case. My genre, my project will be a documentary, a uh, mixed one of that, as it will be doing things that fit into separate subgenres, such as interview and observational. As I am interviewing people to see what they think, and I'm also putting my own point of view on the topic. People who do work like me include, uh, well, like what I'm trying to do, includes Louis Theroux, David Amber and Michael Moore, although I want to be more like David Attenborough and Louis Theroux rather than Michael Moore. No one seems to respect him or believe anything he says. Do you think that's because he's quite sensationalist? I think it's because he talks that much crap. He's very opinionated, isn't he? And he's not he can't keep his own opinions balanced. out of what yeah. he's doing. No, that's good. And even if you're giving your opinion on something, you've always got to see it from the other side. Yeah, when you make a difference, you've got to have an opinion about it yourself and a reason why you're making it, but then you've got to have a little bit of balance in there as well. That's the trick to it. Symbol slash iconography. I won't actually be using any iconography. Uh, the most like symbolism that I'll have is I'll have like some carnival music play over in intro, uh, as well as the title carnival speaking. Uh, I will have different segments in my pitch, such as PT Byron, Truth or False, a mock game show, which will go to work at correcting the image for greatest showmen lied about and basically create, as well as interviews. As I'm yet doing another documentary for this FMP, like I did last year, I am yet again taking inspiration from the best person to ever work in documentaries, David Attenborough. He's worked in documentaries since the 1970s. He works with local zoos and is, I'm pretty sure he's an OBE or something. Yeah. 
and if you ask anyone who all watched something David Attenborough, they all know who he is and they all know something he's worked on, which is just great to have that kind of renown where you can just show anyone a picture and they'll recognise it. Uh, the second person I want to focus on and uh, trying to replicate their work is Louis Farrell. Uh, he will be more of an inspiration this time because I am trying to go into the dark side of documentaries, whereas Louis Farrell goes and talks about the porn industry, swingers, he even met Jimmy Sample before he died and discussed his uh, pedophile scandal. Technical research. Premiere Pro is the software I will be using as I'm familiar with it as well as its industry, uh, industry standard renders in real time, has good titles and graphics which is important to documentaries as well as being compatible with the HD cameras we use in college. Good. Only downside with it being it's sometimes unreliable. Uh, questionnaire findings. My first questionnaire was can you name these people? I have the sheet the five performers, uh, William Henry Johnson, a.k.a. Sipper Pinhead, Joseph Merrick, a.k.a. The Elephant Man, Latvia Barron, a.k.a. Latvia <coughs> Barron, Bush, who was the world's smallest lady, and General Tom Fum, and he was called Charles Stratton, I forgot his last last name, and Grady Stiles Jr., who was known as Lobster Boy. I asked 44 people to do this questionnaire and my hypothesis was to be proven that when P.T. Barnum forged fake birth certificates and got rid of their origins and their real names, he'd taken away their identity, their humanity. This was proven when the only one known was Joseph Merrick. His stage name was also the most known. No one knew this woman and one person got the first name right for uh, Charles Strike. Well, that's because he called him Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> uh, and I also got a lot of insensitive comic, um, comments. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, a lot of Jordan Reeves, which he needs to get his picture. Yeah, show me, <laughs> show, show me later. Uh, that was then again, found when I did my next set of questionnaires which were about morals and ethics because I wanted to see if yeah. people are actually better now and better receiving disabled people. Yeah, I, hope so. uh, I did about 24 of them and I only got about three people who are better off in the dark ages, so I said. Style slash idea. My first idea was to do a film on an escape killer plan. The problem I would have doing it is for lack of people because everyone is focused on their own project. My second idea was to do a documentary uh, going into detail about the full history of carnivals and circuses. Then for my final idea I developed my second one further and instead of talking about the whole past of carnivals I wanted to focus on the perform disabled performers, aka freak shows, as I myself have been particular circumstances like that, just not to that extent, thankfully. My documentary subjects include P.T. Barnum, Phineas Taylor Barnum, who was an American showman, politician and businessman, and also tried to reinstate slavery in 1854. He's also the mayor of Bridgeport, Connecticut from 1875 to 1876. He was known as the Shakespeare, as, uh, Shakespeare of advertising and the Prince of Humbugs. He used to tell ho hoaxes and make up controversies about everything and anything. Uh, one of these include, he actually bought a blind slave and gave a fake birth certificate, fake name and everything, saying that she was a 161 year old nurse who used to be the former nurse for George Washington during the American Civil War. 
or American England school. Other subjects include the performers that he harmed and affected in a good or bad way. This includes Charles Stratton, Tom Thorne, who he forced to drink when he was just a kid. Grady Styles, who ended up murdering his uh, daughter's fiance a day before the wedding due to mental health problems, which were due to the map, the fact of criticism and hate he were addressed with. And William Henry Johnson and Joseph Merrick. So, Darren, it's, it's, it's really important to you and Earl, and I think it's a really good documentary to say that Hollywood has his version of The Greatest Showman, but you want to show your own version of yeah. the truth behind it. So it's like the Hollywood gloss, and then the answer to that, which is a really nice idea. My software choices, I have three software on the Mac, two of them are editing software, and one is uh, kind of the music software because I wanted to kind of dabble with editing a carnival themed song a little bit myself. Uh, I will not be using uh, Final Cut Pro over Premiere as it is completely trash. It's just not got as many pieces. No, it's just it? literally it's trash on <laughs> Premiere Pro. Uh, my primary audience will be a PG audience who like watching documentaries, David Attenborough and Louis Fruit. I have also been on New Group and I have searched similar interests for the audiences of say, uh, similar shows. Similar, uh, similarity between these are bountiful, yet I want to focus on a few, such as their interest in the news. So due to their interest, I'm going to uh, make my graphics to resemble the BBC News graphics, okay. so it's similarity. I will also be taking inspiration from other similar interests I find a place for in my documentary. My secondary audience will be disabled people, either ones who want answers to questions or who just don't want to feel alone. They want to know people who've gone through the same stuff they have and that they've got it better than the people in this yeah. uh, project. They will be able to watch this documentary and know that our way of living is only getting better and we are getting better understood as well as being offered better help. Okay. My meaning slash it, uh, my aim is to inform people of the bad things P.T. Barnum did and to help kill the prejudice that still lingers around disabled people. I also want to end a documentary on a happy thought. Go on to say even though he may have benefited from disabled people and forced him to work and that he is one of the main reasons we've got disabled rights today. Mm -hmm. He brought us into the spotlight and do you mean because people used to cover up disabilities? There was like a, a famous king, wasn't he? He was supposed to have mental health difficulties and, and they, they covered him, him up, didn't they? I think it was Henry. So I think in the past that's the way that people dealt with that, wasn't it? Just pretend it didn't exist. Well, uh, Drop them away. Yeah. In, the, in America they used to treat uh, disabled people worse than blacks when they had the segregation. Yeah. Like, Black people were fine to fight in their own units in that way. Disabled people put to war would be given a musical yeah, so the instrument. Yeah, the prejudice was We won't be given a gun, we'd be given a bagpipe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as well as actually inform people to their actual names and to hopefully give them back some of their humanity. Thank you for watching. I think he's covered everything, hasn't he? Well done. Harry, are you ready to go in about five minutes? I'm uh, ready to go, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll just let me know when you're ready to record.